Hello everyone, Excedra here, bringing you episode 18 of Sky Beast 2, a mud pack by Falcon. So, in the last episode, we worked some more automations, continued placing machines and whatnot, and I feel like we're making a lot of progress. Now, today, what I'd like to do is just try and continue progress-wise, but like in a relative, like, trying to complete actual stuff why is this not okay so this one's the first one that we need to complete we got the tier 4 apiaries and no we're about to get the tier 4 apiaries those things are so expensive tier 1 four. done so if i want to make a tier 4 i won't be able to because i don't have enough material but look at this 100 nether star, 1,024 beeswax, and that's saying 1,024 beeswax, but also 1,024 beeswax block. Like all of the other things. And if we go down, see, right now I have enough grass, which is really surprising if I'm honest. And it's going to use granite block, slimy, emerald. Oh my God, that's expensive as a choice. Sand. Uh, it's going to use all of that, but, but what I'm missing right now is honeycombs, okay? So what I'm thinking is that I might put the honeycomb, uh, the tier four, what's this one? It's a tier, tier three. Dude, what are you trying to do? Oh, you were waiting for an entry in there. Is that what it was waiting for? Yes, that's what it was waiting for. Okay. So I was thinking that maybe I would put the tier four in here. But uh, to be honest, I'm probably going to put the tier four in here. And basically, I'm going to move whichever bees are more important to me here. Oh, not shift click. So I place it down clicking on shift. Okay, so this should be good. <clears throat> this is good so technically what i'm thinking is i'm just going to have to put like the most valuable be value oh god valuable bees in here if i go what was the bee dna let's come back okay so first of all this is another quest line done and where's the bee dna the standard Standard BDNA was right here. No, that's Blaze. This. Okay. So BDNA is yellow dye. Let's just come over here and we do have MTNA, MTDNA, and let's get some yellow dye. Yellow. We're just going to search it like this yellow dye. And we're going to make it out of the RGBG comb something. Yeah, like this. One, two. Let me grab a dirt. You know what? I'll throw the tier one in here. So here I need dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Like so. I'm going to need one flower. I said flower. Really? That's the... I'm not sure I want to use that one. You know what? Oh, I have a poppy. So let's just grab that poppy. And uh, how is it that we make dirt into grass been a little while starlight infusion or i know that there's an easier way temper glass so this with ac okay so let's just come come back right here pop you out put you there and we're going to put that in here and that in there and we're going to come right here and say oh this one's making glowstone dirt uh not dirt grass like so yes please do this one that should give me a grass not that i'm like really really in need of a grass but it's going to be better that way come on yellow oh i have no block under it it would have been better under the yellow the glowstone sorry and voila so we have our grass block and oh let's just come down here and right here, we're going to say, yeah, make this and put the next one in here. So that technically should do two. 
in a very, very short time. And the one. Come on. And a two. I'm going to grab my bee box and where did I put my bee, like my bee stand or something? Yo, I don't even know where I put my bee something. Bee. Okay. Give me a moment. Wow. Um, I feel a bit like out of it right now. DNA spawner. Okay. So that's why. So DNA. You know what? It's probably just in my backpack. Um, option controls backpack. Okay. Wow. What's going on? Yellow backpack. Am I not wearing a backpack right now? Oh, not a backpack. It's a red backpack that you can't really put on your back. Oh, like I said, I, I feel like I'm a bit out of it, but I don't know why. DNA, DNA, DNA. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do with my BDNA? Is it in here somehow? You know what? Uh, I'm nope, nope, nope. Not wasting my time. DNA. Let's just craft this. And I guess let's just do this. I'm going to come back over here. And yes, I'm making something I already have one of. But I have no clue. Found it. Don't mind me. Found it. Do this. And this. Let's go up here. And we're going to put you in the corner right here like so and i'm for sure <clears throat> sorry i'm for sure going to add a couple more bees in here uh later down like i'm not going to do it right now because i want to get started on more quest cleanup what i want to do right now is let me come back right here I believe that this one is the right one. I'm going to check that quickly. Yeah, so I don't I don't want this one in because I'm gonna let the bee go in and Wow. Well 1300? Isn't that apiary tier four supposed to like make the bees so much faster? Tier four. Hive time modification minus 50%. And it's going to give me eight honeycomb block. <clears throat> you know what? I think it might be a time versus number of item. That is entirely possible because that seems like a very long time for me. If I come back over here. Yeah, none of those are more than 500. So it might be that or it might be the fact that it's a different B or that it's the first time that it goes. Let's just have it finished. And let's just wait. That's 1400 tick is a long time. Done. Next one says already in. And eight honeycomb block. So yeah, that's going to fix my tier four apiary issue, I believe. So if I come back here and I say tier four again, uh right here tier four next and i go down wow it's already so okay you need to understand this now if you look at this it does say that i have everything that i need right what i don't have is the 14k byte use so let's just leave first and we're going to go downstairs and take a quick look at our crafting So if we go downstairs, we've got 4K, 4K. So 2, 4K equals 8K. Definitely not enough. 
So let's just search here for storage part. Ah, that's why I haven't made the 16K because I need three 4Ks. Storage. I have two 1K right here. And if I ask for 10 more of those, ooh, I did set it up. I did. Oh, yes, I did set it up. That's amazing. So it means because I'm having the fluid honey go in here automatically that I'm going to get a couple of 1K. And in this one, I have the fluid latex. So, yeah, we're all good. Let me just go take a quick look in here. So there's one thing that I've been doing wrong in the past episode that I'm kind of regretting now is that I've not been making slates. Well, this is a steel casing. Imbued slate, reinforced slate. Like, I'm going to want to improve my altar. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get over here and grab some stone. So right up here. Might need to make this digital, by the way. So I'm going to grab 32 stones. And I'm going to put you in here and it's going to go one at a time. And do I have my divination sigil near and do this? Yes. So I have 30,000. I had 30,000. So it used a thousand in LP. I don't know what that sound was. You make the first tier of slate. And then I'm going to use, I don't know how many. Uh, two. 2000 to make the second tier and i want the re well do i want the reinforced late rune of self-sacrifice ritual stone yes i'm gonna want ritual stone yeah okay so i'm gonna let that that was not what i wanted to do so okay i'm gonna keep you on me but that, that is not what i wanted to do and now i've lost a little bit of uh of blood and magic Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back on and turn that back off so that now all the mobs are going to be pushed in a corner and I'm going to come back here and where's my ritual uh, dagger of sacrifice. And I'm just going to come in here once in a while and do this. By the way, I'm really sorry. I cannot find my note, but someone that left me a, a comment saying, can you not use like a player clicker? I don't know if I did something wrong or not, but uh, I did a test in my test world. And basically the test that I did is that <clears throat> I used a modular router. And if I come here to router, I then used a, uh, where is it? I needed an energy module and then I used a activator module and then a player module and I tried to put the dagger in it but for somewhat reason and it might just not have been coded for or it might have been coded against it was making it so that that didn't work. So I wasn't able to automate the process but there is a way to automate <clears throat> blood into an altar <clears throat> sorry my throat is so weird tonight so there is a way of doing that but i have to do a little bit of research because it it, it needs a well of sulfur uh, suffering and for the well of suffering we need some something called called tau or something like that i'm not quite sure i remember the name properly but like i said i'm doing my research it's probably going to be more next episode so what i decided to do instead is that i would just continue with the quest cleanup and um so all the bees means we need to get more bees so that's going to happen slowly animal crops like that's just spawning one of each animal i'm probably going to do that as i need them and finish them at the end storage is completely done but we're at botania <clears throat> so i figured i want to get continuing on botania so we need the Terra Steel boot, but if you look at the Terra Steel boot, it needs a rune of winter, and then the legging needs a rune of autumn, and this needs a rune of summer, and finally, this one needs a rune of spring. We made all of those. What we did not 
was make all the advanced room. So I want to finish all the advanced room first. Then I want to make my conjuration catalyst, but I need elementium and pixie dust. And for that, I'm going to need the portal to Halfine. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's come over here and say, let's do the research right here. Portal. Nope. Halfine. I don't remember the name of the blocks. I think I've got them bookmarked. Here. Yeah, so we're going to need glimmering livid wood. I don't have... Oh, I never connected these things. That is sad. I completely forgot to connect this. And... No, I'm not doing it now. I'm going to have to do it like in between episodes, but I'm not wasting the time right now. Let's just do three of those. One, two, three. Then I need some Gaia, uh, not Gaia Pylon, sorry, Natura Pylon, which means Mana Pylon. We're going to need some diamonds. So let's do 16 diamonds transformed in here. That's the one that has the most mana. Great. And why is this? Yeah, this is stop again. So let's just come back here and put some coal because we're going to need more mana. Coal, coal block one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if it's six or five. I think it's five. Oh, I think it's as many as I need because basically I could do this. Anyway, mana production, uh, not mana. Uh, yes, mana production is restarted. If I do this, I can go one and two. And let's put those in the system. Then, mature pylon means we need terra steel nuggets. And now I should be able to do Natura Pylon and Natura Pylon. Perfect. So we've got the two Natura Pylon. And if I go back, so we need two Natura Pylon, two Mana Pool, eight Living Wood, three Glimmering, and an Elven Gateway Core. Elven Gateway Core. <laughs> uh, that should be good. Uh, that's the disadvantage of not having connected everything that I needed. So let's go back right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those ten are going to be to Monopool, like so. And I'm going to put the gateway right here. I just want to make it simple. Uh, no, 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 that's not going to work. Okay. I unfortunately need to go to the other side of this road because it's not going to work if I don't do it properly. Do I have a wand? Yes. Let's just wand it up until we get to the other side of the road. Perfect. Like so. Then let's just grab the other, the indent right here. And I'm going to be able to complete that. And right here. It's just also, you know what? There is one good thing about what I'm doing right now that I'm really loving. What is this right here? A portal. What am I going to be putting right here? A portal. So, yeah. It seems to be the place to put all of the portals. So, we're going to go one, two. And I'm going to need more of these blocks, right? I'm sure I will. Let's just do this. And let's go back here. So one, two, I need the uh, gateway core. Did the quest detect? Yes, perfect. Gateway core. And then I'm going to go like this and like this. And I'm going to, oh, wow, all over. Okay, my backpack is just too powerful right now. One and two. Come back over here to get that. Now we need the glimmering living wood. One and two. One, one. I'm going to need some block. You know what? That's going to be a bit ugly, but for now, I'm going to allow it. So this, this, and this. And, oh. So, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know, I know. Let's just give me a second. Okay, so one of the things you need to know about these is that um, they need to be set with some uh, pylon before. So, right here, I'm going to put a 
pylon here and here. Well, a mana pool with a Netra pylon here and here. Great. And now we're going to come over here and we just need to feed this beast with mana. And I should have... Oh, I already have two mana tablets. Everything was well planned. Well planned, buddy. Let's just continue. If I come here, I put mana in here and by default they're on receiving mana so that's great let me get my wand of the forest right here and yeah these are not done so while we're waiting for these to empty i'm just gonna go sleep because nope don't want to work in the night and you know what while we're at it we're going to go and make a little sacrificial run so that these are going to continue working, hopefully. Hey, yeah, so that's some good uh, power right there. Okay, let's go back and these should have emptied by now. Yep. Empty and empty. Perfect. Turn you on. Aha. And voila. Well, this is great. This is taken care of. So now we need to make these pixie dust and these other things. So let me come here. Uh, living wood is going to... Oh, only 49. Are you kidding me? So I guess I'm going to need a little bit of oak log first. And the wand. Okay. So if I come back to the next step, we want to prepare the ritual of Gaia, which means we need elementium. Oh, the elementium is why I'm doing this. So basically, I want to make the elementium B. To make the elementium B, I need to make elementium B spawn. And for that, I need elven gateway core. But I also need to make the elementium. So I'm going to need 18 block. Uh, uh, 18 elementium ingot and those are made two to one so just to get started if i come here and i say mana steel i don't know how i have oh because i've never processed them i'm going to come right here and we're going to do the good old throw in there that should transform into 32. yeah we've got 32 which means I can come right here and do this. Grab those two. And let's do two more Elven Gateway Core. Annoying much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Twelve is a good number. And let's go right here. Great. And let that transform and perfect so this this so that's going to give me two bees and oh no guess what the problem is i kind of forgot that i need transformation okay so let me find where my elementium bees are no, not my elementium, my mana steel piece. Oh, you piece of crap idiot. You, I, I don't know if you noticed what he did. He took my flower and for that he must die. I mean, in all seriousness, what is the chance that this dude is just going to randomly pop into one of my apiary and grab the flower. Oi. Okay, so let me just find... Oh, it's she's right there. So, you see that mana seal beat? Oh! oh, please. How did I hit a stupid bee? I think none of them bit me, though. And I think that they only die if one bits me. Don't worry, they're going to calm down. Now the real question is, 
Will I have lost many bees or not? They're calming down. And I haven't heard or seen anyone die yet. Wow. Talk about lucky, lucky luck. Please. Oh, am I using the right ones? Yeah, Man of Steel B. Yeah, this is a Man of Steel B. And you know what? Let me just do this and grab this. And what happens if I grab you and I put you on top here? Come on. So I thought that I would be lucky and they would transform, but... This might be a bit more annoying than anticipated. Because see, here's what happens. They automatically teleport in there. Oh! We got one. I'm so scared that I'm just going to uh, hit another bee. I got so lucky the first time. Sorry if I'm keeping quiet. I just, like, I'm trying to be so careful. I'm gonna stay here just a little bit, see if we can make magic happen. Because one ended up transformed. Oh, and two. Perfect. Yes, magic. Magic can happen. Okay, so let's just go and do the rest. So now I need to mana steal honeycomb, like so. And I believe I should now be able to just make the um, elementium. Elementium. I'm needing a bucket of honey. So let's just go. No, let's go down here. Grab a bucket. Right here. And fluids. Perfect. And let's this well oh, so we're good and we should be able to do this which is now going to get used great and now we're going to have our new b in the new i'm going to put this in the apiary four if i'm honest i don't think we're going to need so much elementium but this is just going to make it easy to get started with so let's just make sure that this is as close as possible so we can do this and this great and if i come here so technically let me just come back here and remove this one and let's wait until we get the first one and the reason is we need to give it a place to go then we need to send it to the centrifuge to get processed Great, we've got our first Elementium bee in here. Hmm, I think I got something. I think it's not a question of time or the type of... I think it's the type of bee because this one's still a thousand something. And this one is clearly a lot less. Okay, so we've got these Elementium block. Let's put you back and let's go. And do we have an empty? No, we don't have an empties. I think we have an empties right here. Yep. Yeah. Let's put you there. Grab a you. And we're just going to add you right here. So this is now working. And we're going to set this one to full. Cool. Elementium because we need to process the Elementium sooner rather than later. And you know what? So much sooner that I'm just going to do that right now. Uh, I'm basically going to take them all and put them already in the uh, processing system. So let's just come over here and do this. And grab the Elementium that's blocking stuff. Then come back right here and go. You go there now. 
voila, we've got all of it set up now. So let's just put that in here. And let's go back upstairs. Uh, if I'm completely honest, I'm not sure which armor is better. Is the elementium armor better or is the... I think that the Terra Steel one is better. And the reason I think that is that even though the elementium is kind of higher level in material-wise, I think that the, the fact that the other one uses a rune makes them better. So two armor... Six armor, five armor, two armor. Three armor, eight armor. Yeah, exactly. So this elementium, it's like just going to throw it in here. I do not see the need to use those. Those are the one that I want to use. Okay, so I don't know. Can I use this armor or is it been damaged and it won't work? So. Oh, yes. Let's finish the rooms first. Yeah, I'm going to finish the rune first because my concern is that these uh, higher level rune are going to require some of the other ones. So air, autumn, and two diamonds. Let's come here and say diamond. Are these the mana diamond, the one that goes through the portal? Yeah, they make dragon stone. Do we need dragon stone? I don't know that we do. Uh, you know what? Let's grab 32 of you and let's come over here and grab some ender pearl and grab 16 and 16. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here, put 32 of you in here and 16 and 16. And I'm going to throw these through here. So these are going to give me pixie dust. And these... Dragonstone. Perfect. Uh, then let me collect this. And wand the rest. Let's go sleep again. It feels like the days are passing so fast in this mod pack. It's crazy. It's already been three days of me playing this. Okay. So if I come over here. I want to make the rune of envy so it's water and winter so winter water winter water you and you one two three four five i believe put you there next one's going to be wrath which is winter and earth yo faster please Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so let's just come back over here. And we're going to throw the 16 living wood in here. Which are going to give me dream wood. Great. Break and replace. And while we're waiting, we're going to come right here and say mana spreader. Right here. Elven mana spreader. Oh, I just need a pink flower. So give me a second. A pink petal. Well, no. Not a pink petal. Any color petal. I'm just being dumb. So put you right here. The elven mana spreader should be much faster. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say no to you. And yes to you. Like this. Oh yeah, look at how much faster this is. This was totally worth doing. So let's rearrange some of this for now. And this is almost done. Great. Then we can go winter, earth, one, two. That's going to be the next rune. What's the next rune after that? The gluttony is going to be fire and I don't know for you guys, but I strongly feel as if a pattern has emerged. You feel like basically it's always winter in something. So is that true? This one is going to be summer. Oh, no. Okay. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong like always. 
So winter, winter, spring, winter. It just so happens that most of them seems to be winter, where at least three of them, but it's not always winter. I'm really glad I changed that because this is a lot slower than I would have expected and this way it's going a lot faster. Come on, I'm waiting for you guys. So while I'm waiting for this, I can go make the Conjuration Catalyst. So you know what? Let's finish this one. Let's go this and Winter and these two. And let's go make a Conjuration Catalyst. So, Conjuration Catalyst, let's make another one of you. Let's make your brewing stand. And yeah, of course, I need a Mana Pearl Transform in, uh, sorry, an Ender Pearl Transform into Mana Pearl. And then I don't want to, like, I don't want to use my Alchemical Catalyst because I want to keep that one for next time. So, one, two, three, four. Why did I grab four? Because I already had two and I'm going to need two to finish the other two rooms. So this is done. And then we want to make this one. What is it missing? Uh, I'm not feeling it tonight. One, two, three, four. And that's going to happen now. But the fact that I've not connected this is making this episode a bit harder than it needs to be. Okay, so the Conjuration Catalyst, if I'm completely honest, don't really have a big use for. So the point of the Conjuration Catalyst is to duplicate stuff. So transform one into two using mana. So there is nothing right now that I can see in here that I'm like, I really need to duplicate. So I made that for the quest and the quest alone. Okay, so if I come back here... The last rune, or the last two runes, is going to be Summer and Air. So, Summer and Air, right here. And so, this, this, and these two. Grab this and put it there. And what's the last one? The last one is going to be air and autumn great so this this and this is going to complete all of that stuff now the reason i kind of did it this way is that when i'm going to craft this armor i'm going to need one of each uh season and it's just going to use it i'm going to lose all of these season one uh, they're going to be used in the crafting. So it's not ideal, but it is what it is. There's not much choice in what I'm doing. So I'm just going to... Well, I could make some more. Like, if I need some, I'll make some more. Okay? So that's not a big problem. It's just... If I had not used them before, I would have needed... Yo... Okay, so there's something wrong here. Which one am I trying to do? So if I come back here, I'm trying to do the summer air. Summer. Oh, I put the water. Darn it. Summer air. Yeah, that's going to be much better. And definitely I did not pay attention to the sound. And the last one is going to be Autumn and Air. I can put this away. Uh, autumn, right here. Autumn and Air. This is the winter. This is the spring. Autumn, perfect. So I'm all good now. So let's just wait for this to finish. And while we're doing so, let's eat a little bit of bread. Okay, so while we're waiting on waiting on waiting, let's just go do this. Great, so that's taken care of. That little cleanup right there is going to get us a couple more reinforced slate.
Let's go back upstairs, doing three things at a time. That's always the best way of doing things. And you, you, and air, and one, two. This is the last one, and perfect. So, which one am I doing first? So, spring, summer, autumn. So, I could do the boots. Yeah, okay, I'll come back for this. So, first off... Let's do the, the pouch right here. Flower pouch. If I do this, I need a flower. And put you right here. I don't know if I can use a big flower. I hope so, but I'm not sure. Let's grab this right here. Cheers. I have a camera, but I don't know where it is. So let's see. Can I use a tall flower? No. Uh, of course not. Um I can use a petal. So yes, I'm good. Just give me a second. Do this and use a petal like this. That's going to give me a flower pouch, which I have no interest in using. So let's put that back right here. Do this, and well, the last one right here is done. Let's get rid of the air, and let's go and craft our armor. Terra Steel Boot. Uh, living Wood Twi- Oh, God, I need so much stuff all the time. So let's just go back right here, and that back. This, and this and yeah okay i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna go like this and it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight i assume that there's going to be two per armor piece so terra steel boot oh yes i can perfect then terra steel legging great then terra steel helmet also great and now I need the last piece. Oh, I have already have the last piece of the puzzle. So let's put those runes in here. And I should be able to now make the chest plate. Although, is the chest plate in my bag? Yeah, right here. So let's grab the chest plate and put that there. And I believe that this armor is way better. I still don't have flight unless I have my jetpack on, but I should now have a better armor. If I come back here, all of this is done. All of this is done. So the next step is going to be for the ritual of Gaia. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to kill a Gaia again. I seem to be doing that in every mod pack these days, which is a bit annoying. But let's craft the Gaia pylon. So get rid of let me get rid of a couple of things this is done 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 this b is done this is done this is done oh done 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 okay so gaia pylon means mana pylon those diamond stuff one two uh no we need four of those so one two three four perfect let's go back here and we're going to make four of you into four of you that's great let me put this in there this in there these things that i know i'm not going to need really i'm just going to put back in there so basically we also need a beacon so beacon beacon it is and what I'm going to do is that probably in my time lapse, I'm going to do like I did in my uh, other playthrough, and I'm going to set a uh, an obsidian arena just so that I can fight there. I just don't have the same kind of amazing bow, though. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find a different solution. I also don't have the same amazing armor, but I'm going to set it up so that when I'm ready to fight it, I'll just have to do that. Last thing that we need to do is an orchard. So green, yellow, gray, red, white. Green, yellow, red, white. 
green, yellow, red, white. I'm missing one for sure. Yeah, gray. Great. And one of these. Ah, oh, you. Mm -mm. Okay, so give me a second. I gotta fix my mistake. I'm gonna grab my bag. And where's my camera? Right here. Like so. Great. Now I'll put the camera back. Grab the bucket. And I should be able to make that flower that I honestly have no interest in using again. So this is really just a little bit of quest cleanup. And voila. We've got an orchard. Which is another quest item. And yeah. For this, until we kill the Gaia. We're all set. So that's another quest line done. Um, let's look at what we have to do next, guys. Uh, if I come back here, get rid of you. I'm going to put these in here. Uh, yeah, all of these. Grab this, grab this. I'm just cleaning up a little bit after myself. Okay, great. And we're going to go and make sure that we have some essence in the mob. I mean, in the altar. Great. Perfect. And this is almost done. Okay, so... Let's look at the next phase of this mod pack, this next phase of the project. So now that this is done, uh, like I said, probably going to have to find a way to fight a Gaia. But the next thing is Astral Sorcery. So we're going to have to start working on... Um, you know what? It's probably time we'll get the Auto Starlight Infuser. So let's see if that's doable. Okay. So if I come here and I remove these two things and I say Auto starlight infuser like this so we're going to need four steel casing four machine frame four machine frame okay <laughs> um so four steel casing we should have that over here somewhere one two three four machine frame four steel casing what's the other one that we need we need this one oh that's the one we never made okay so let's get that done Let's grab some gold. Uh, let's grab one, two, three, four gold because we need four machine frame. And where is it? So the advanced enriching enriching factory. Yeah, that's let's grab those back. And then we have an advanced infusing somewhere right here. So let's dump this. Let's put that in and let's put four of these in. I guess I need a bit more. Let's grab one more. I don't know if one's going to be enough. I think it's going to be enough. Let's wait for this to come back. Let's put this one in here. And yeah, perfect. So machine frame. So now we have these four machine frame. We have these four machine frame. And we need these four steel casing right here. I don't have a lot of steel casing left though. Perfect. And then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight marble pillar and a starlight infuser. So four marble pillars. Four or eight? Eight. You know what? Let's just keep those. Let's grab some marble. Eight to be exact. And I have a stone cutter right here. So I'm basically just going to make eight more pillar then i'm going to need to grab you because it's going to replace this altar item anyway so grab you come back over here and let's do this and voila okay so it's not night though so we're going to have to do this a bit later when it's night so right now i've been complaining about the fact that it's not night but 
Uh, I've been complaining about nights, but now I need night, and I'm going to be complaining that it's not night. So, for sure, in the meantime, can we do the looking glass? That needs a luminous crafting table. So, glass lens, plank. Do I have glass lens? Glass lens. Oh, yes. Okay, so I need a plank. And then a stick. Well, two sticks. And then a gold. And I should probably have favorite, favorited that. I think that one can be crafted during the day. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm missing two more stick sticks. One, two. Let's go and do that. Looking glass. And where's my wacky wacky wand? Right here. Okay, that also needs to wait for night. Great. I should have known that everything requires night time. So then we're going to want to make the telescope, which is going to be another plank, three sticks and two gold. So you know what? Let's just go another three sticks one two three another some more gold gold one two and another plank this perfect so that should be that next item and then we're going to need the constellation papers oh there are many of those so we need parchment which can be crafted anywhere amazing so Let's search for parchment. And that's a lot of parchment, but okay. So we're going to use one parchment with this. Then we're going to use one with food. Then one with a feather. I don't know why I'm making one of each, but I don't know it's the end. Of, I don't know that it's going to be a big problem. Okay, so let's just go back and do this one. The next one is going to require a clock. Perfect. And by the way, only one of those discovered something for now. So these are all the way that you can make the parchment, but uh, not all of them discovers something. So now I'm going to need an iron chest plate. Close you off and do the next one. Oh, Armara. So now we found two. Let's make the next. Um, iron pickaxe. Dismiss you. Evorzio. Perfect. That's another one. Then let's just continue. Uh, I don't have a horn of the wild. I don't have an ore. Oh, yes, I do. I can't believe that ancient does count, but I'm happy about that. So which one can I not make right now? The Orn of the Wild. Let's make an iron sword. Oh, that's another one. Let's go with the next one. Next one's going to be uh, constel uh, the fishing rod. Okay, so I'm going to need a fishing rod. Hmm. Can I use a used? No, I can't. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. So let's just do that and get this next one. That's also another one that has no use. What's the next one? Witherproof block. Okay. Nope. A potion of night vision, a crimson root, a sapling. That's another one. Great. Does it tell me? No, there's nothing here, nothing here. Oh, yes. They, they, oh, I could maybe have made just the one that told me something. So the Orn of the Wild might not be important. The This one might not be important either. This one either. This is another one that's not important. 
this one is not important either and this one okay so i think i've got them all not quite sure what they're for though but oh so this is mineralis and Evorzio. Okay, so the one that said nothing here. Okay, so this one says Am Armora, like so. And if I do this one, Horologium, but it doesn't say where it is. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to put you all in here. And if I come back here, did that count? Yes, so that's another quest completed. What else do I have to do? Mental of the Stars. Okay, so this one is kind of a problem, and I'll explain to you why. Do you see that there's three things outside? It means that we're going to need to have special stands to put these things on. Um, if I come back here for the attunement altar, I'm going to need to make an attunement altar, so I'm going to need an astral relay. Astral relay, probably also something that I'm going to set up in my time lapse, so two planks, a marble, so one marble, two planks, two gold nuggets, and of course we're going to need another one of these uh, glass lens, oh, not like this, like this, and since we're night, let's go over here and make sure that we can make our looking glass like so. And let's transform the looking glass into a telescope. And let's get an astral relay now. Okay, so what if we put the looking glass right here? Okay, do you see these special star that are kind of flickering? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then this one. I don't remember the mini game. Like, I think I need to use like some kind of uh, paper. And like, I think I need to find like a. Uh, a way to draw them. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. Again, so many things that I don't remember. This this mod pack is requesting a lot of understanding that I don't remember. So four rune marble, two star metal ingot, four rune marbles. So right here. You know what? Let's do it again. Four rune marble. Great. Then we need two star metal, two aquamarine. I think I have that. Two star metal, yeah. Do I have aquamarine on me? No, but that's easy. Aquamarine, just grab a ton. And we're going to need one rock crystal. I think we have everything. We should be able to now do the attunement altar. Great. Okay, what else is here? Um, oh yes, we should be able to do the auto attunement. Uh, like this, like this, do you, and... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the beauty with the auto attunement, auto starlight infuser, is that you put it down there, and it's no longer going to use one of these block. This needs to be fed. Okay. So if I come back here and I grab a bucket, uh, I can just insert the starlight right in here. So this is full. And if I come over here and I grab... One, two, three, four, five of these, and I put those in. They're just slowly transforming. No need to use the resonating wand, no need to do nothing, which means these can now be automated. I'm going to be able to put a 
an assembler, like an interface behind this and just hot automate it. And for the liquid starlight, basically I'm going to do a setup where I'm going to automate the generation of the starlight juice, because this is basically just in putting those. And I, I tried using a hopper and it wasn't using, but working, but in my test world, what I found is that I can use a um, router to push. So the best setup is to have a router in the center and these four all around and just have the router in putting these into the light well. And the only way to extract from these light well is either by bucket or by piping from the bottom. So that's probably one of the next thing that we're going to do. So all of this here, uh, I'm going to, in my time lapse, set this up. You know what? Let's just go. I want to complete the quest line. Suti. Oh, right here. Suti marble. I just want Suti marble. Perfect. I think that's a bit more than I needed, but that's fine. And marble at 17k. Yeah, I'm not having any resources problem right now. What's the other thing that we need? We need 80 marble arc. Marble arc. And I should have some here. Yeah. So now I'm going to throw all of that back in here. But basically, in my time lapse, I'm just going to go set all of that up. So in my time lapse, I'm going to set up the attunement altar and I'm basically going to automate the generation of these into a singularity tank. And I'm going to connect the singularity tank to my A2 system. And I'm going to be able to, so that next episode, I'm going to be ready to put an interface here just to be able to automate the generation of these uh, machine frame which I think if in the next episode we also do the mental of the star should bring us to the last step. Uh, I just want to try something quickly. Yes, guys, give me a moment. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to say gold. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it's, what was it? Attunement. What was it called? Astral Relay. Okay. So I'm going to need six planks. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Do I have oak? Oh, but I do have planks. Six. Perfect. Then what's the next thing that I needed? I needed marble. So marble it is. One, two, three. And then the Astral Lens. I still have three. Perfect. So let's go in here, do this, this, and this. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can put one here, one here, and one here. And I think that this is going to uh, craft, that's what I need, mental. So mental of the stars. I need four stardust, four resonating gem. Let's come back right here. I need a bucket. Or resonating gem. One, two, three, four. Ah, <laughs> that is interesting indeed. Okay, so in case you guys have not noticed, the resonating gem are made uh true the use a face standard starlight infusion darn it so i'm gonna need one two three six marble pillar okay so six marble pillar let's try and fix that asap marble one two three four five six five six perfect i'm gonna need some gold you know what i'm tired of picking piecemeal I'm going to need some star metal, star metal, same thing. Let's do this. So if I come right here, I need six marble pillar. 
And then I'm going to need um, three rune marble. One, two, three. Three rune marble. A bucket of starlight. I think we have everything that we need. Let's make another one of you. That worked. Or is working, I should say. Oh, no, we're out of night. So, okay. I'm going to prepare this for the next episode in my time up. So I guess I'm going to end this here. And I'm just going to... I'm going to need to set up a second of you, basically. And the second one of this, I'm going to set on... Like, underground right here. So that it's out of the way, because it's something that I'm automating. So this one's going to stay my normal cutesy one. And I'll have one underground. And I'm going to set up the attunement altar. So those are the things I'm going to set up. And if we're all doing really well and good, it means that in the next episode, I should be able to make my mental of the stars. And that would be another quest line completed. I don't know that I'm going to do any of these special thing with like special uh, things on it. I, I don't know that I have a big interest to do that. I just want to complete the quest line. And the problem is that this metal of the star is worn on body. And on my body, I want to use my jetpack. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.